could make history by becoming the first African-American president of the United States. It's an honor to welcome Senator Barack Obama. <laughs> We are the ones we've been waiting for. Barack Obama. We are the change that we seek. He's gotten the reception of a rock star uh, wherever he's traveled. Give me your assessment of Barack Obama, where he's come from, what he's done, what he's accomplished. Um, he's a political he, phenomenon. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's an inspiring candidate. And he's got the young people out there just eating out of the palm of his hand. Barack Obama is a, is a fresh face, and he is one of the most unvetted uh, candidates in our political history. And he's passing his hope bomb around the drum circle of young America. His Everyone is His hope bomb, Larry. His he's inviting people bomb. to take deep tokes <laughs> off of his bong packed with hope. A sniper's bullet took Martin from us, but God has given a Barack Obama to us. Jeremiah Wright has now achieved the near impossible task of making Al Sharpton look moderate. Barack Obama has his roots in the Cook County machine in Chicago. He's not even left or right. He's a radical. Barack Obama is not a conviction politician. Why is there that like I can't just eat my wife? The press loves Obama. You know, red in the face, embarrassed to stand up, go to bed thinking about you. I love you, sealed with a kiss kind of love. I have to tell you, you know, it's, it's the feeling most people get when they hear a Barack Obama speech. My, I felt this thrill going up my leg. I well, mean, I don't have that too often. Steady. Oh, we hear an awful lot about him, but what's he going to do for the world? I would. Senator Obama's uh, relationship with Tony Resco has been really ignored by the uh, media. You know, I think from, from the reporter's point of view, it's almost hard to remain objective because the, it's infectious. He is representative of the ultimate left of the Democratic Party. He said, I'm going to bring change. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I will bring you change, but not really. Don't tell me words don't matter. I think Senator Barack Obama is the socialist of the worst kind. Yes, we can. I think that everybody is caught up with the mood and the music. Let's give it up. They're not listening to the lyrics. But after he's elected president, it's the lyrics that matter, not the music. I see far more of a Jimmy Carter approach than I do a John Kennedy. I, I think Senator Obama's position is very, very confused. Barack Obama really does have good intentions. Jimmy Carter, I think, had great intentions. He I will cut investments in unproven missile defense systems. I will slow our development of future combat systems. I will not develop new nuclear weapons. I think that anybody who wears a uniform who's been watching the debates has to question the judgment of Senator Obama. Senator Obama poses a, a dilemma for African Americans. As many of you know, over the last few months, I've been thinking hard about my plans for 2008. Eight, eight, eight. Thank you, Chicago. Let's go get to work. I love you. You can like uh, Barack Obama very easily. It is only when you begin to peel back the layers and closely examine the core philosophy and record of this uh, aspiring uh, political leader that you begin to see a disturbing pattern.